We have seen baseless threats year after year at Columbine, and this one has a different feel. Jefferson County deputies tell us this woman came to Colorado last night and made credible threats today against our schools. And right now she's still on the run and pretty much the whole state searching for her. Investigators also telling us she should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. And that has nearly every school in the metro taking precautions to keep our students safe. And Jason Grenauer and Jace Larson will join us with more on that in a moment. Let's first begin with Chief Investigator Tony Kowaleski and everything we know about this suspect, Tony. Yeah, and Shannon, this threat has risen to the highest levels of local and federal law enforcement, a threat that has continued to escalate since last night, a threat that comes four days before the 20th anniversary of Columbine. Within the past hour, this video just into our newsroom. Video from Florida. We have confirmed the FBI has resources there in Florida inside an address associated with Sol Pais, a home in Surfside, Florida, a beach community northeast of Miami. Now, we had a TV crew knock on the door of that home. An FBI agent answered and said, he could not say any more, but clearly FBI at that house looking for answers. Information we have learned here in Colorado now. We have been told that Sol Pais traveled to Colorado last night. We are trying to confirm specifically how she got here. Shortly after three this afternoon, law enforcement made it clear this threat, the threat level had risen to a significant level, issuing this bolo. That's police talk for be on the lookout. Here are the two pictures released by the FBI. One showing Sol Pais wearing glasses with brown hair and a ring on her left ring finger. The second pick a bit blurry. In the information box, she is described as an 18-year-old white female, 5 feet 5 inches tall. It says she is infatuated with the Columbine school shooting and she is believed to be in the Denver Littleton area. The Bolo reports she attempted to buy firearms and is considered, as you mentioned, armed and extremely dangerous. It also tells law enforcement that if she is contacted to detain and evaluate her mental health status and take a look at that red lettering at the bottom of the description it says no pc for arrest what that means is police do not have enough probable cause to arrest Sol Pais, certainly enough to ask her some very serious questions. Again, 18-year-old Sol Pais, a Florida resident, is believed to be in the Denver metro area. Police from all parts of the state are now on alert and actively looking for the 18-year-old from the Miami area. FBI agents are also, as we told you, in her parents' home right now. And Tony, I know you've covered many FBI investigations, so in Miami, what are agents looking for in that house right now? Well, again, they're not telling us anything, but you can clearly presume that they are at the computer in that home trying to find out Sol Pais's friends, where she has been on the Internet. Also, I'm sure they've worked to locate her cell phone. Would not at all be surprised if they've been pinging that phone to find her location. So a lot of law enforcement looking at this right. both in Florida and in Colorado. They're hoping to make some sort of stop to get some sort of answers soon. And yeah taking this very seriously. Tony Kowaleski working in sources tonight. Thank you, Tony. Uh, and this has been a very confusing and frightening evening for parents all over the metro, especially in Columbine. And that is where we find Denver 7's Jason Grenauer tonight. Jason. Yes, and everything ended with students being released from Columbine High School on time and without incident. But there was a stretch of time here outside of Columbine and across Jefferson County, which eventually spread to the metro, where people were just straight up concerned about what was going on. We'll show you what that scene looked like outside Columbine High this afternoon, where Sheriff's deputies as well as school security were standing at the entrances, monitoring, making sure no one came in or out because the school was on lockout. And that was because of that potential credible threat. That's all we knew going into just about 2.30, 2.45. We didn't learn until after school was let out who that threat came from, Sol Pais, as we mentioned. Now, it also wasn't until later in the afternoon that we started hearing from other districts about their plans for supervised, supervised releases and canceled school activities until after that FBI information eventually spread out. That is when other districts started putting out to their parents and their students, letting everybody try to figure out what was going on. Now that schools have been let out, obviously from a law enforcement perspective, this shifts to that manhunt for that woman that Tony Kovaleski gave you a lot of details about, but it also 
provides us a lot of questions. What about the school day tomorrow? Now, as of right now, no school districts have officially canceled class for tomorrow, but there is the, pers the, the possibility for increased security presence at school. That includes here in Jefferson County. Other districts that we spoke to say that they are just waiting on more information and more direction from the Colorado Department of Public Safety. Reporting live tonight, not far from Columbine High School, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.